welcome to our tiramisu chat. <laughs> Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Did you check that we're on the correct channel today? Yeah, uh, yes. I okay, did. good. <laughs> well, you should Just know over sure. there. Are we on the correct channel? Well, I gotta check now and get the link. Just wanna tweet out to everybody so oh. everybody can come hang out. Where is the camera? Is it over here? No. Yeah, it's over yeah. here. Alright, I can never tell. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have a little pocket in my shirt over here. <laughs> it's got a little well, secret pocket to put right in here in the soup. So, we're making tiramisu because it's Nick's birthday, and Nick requested his favorite dessert, which just so happens to be tiramisu, mm -hmm. and just so happens to be my mom's favorite dessert, and I've never made it before, much less even vegan. I've never even made, like, a regular tiramisu, because... It's um, fancy. It's, um... It's pretty fancy, like, if you do a traditional one, because it's got, like, mascarpone cheese in there mm -hmm. and it's got um eggs and it and it's a it's lady fingers and those have ladies fingers <laughs> and those have eggs and it really should be uh done and let sit overnight to really have it's like it's one of those things that it keeps getting better and better type of thing mm -hmm. so like you make it the day before and you let it set up in the refrigerator and then you eat it the next day would you say all things just keep getting better? All tiramisu's just keep getting better. All things just keep getting better. Ah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I can't see anybody chat. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's Sarah and Whispering Hands and Charlie. Hello, hello. How oh, nice. Thank How you, are you for all joining doing today? So, I, <laughs> in preparation for this, what? <laughs> I have this cookbook. Hang on. Yeah, tell us about the journey of this All right. recipe. So I got this uh, vegan Christmas cookbook, Gaz Oakley. I really like him. He's mm -hmm. awesome. He's writing his third cookbook right now. I just want to interrupt you for one second. I'm sorry, he's not just writing it. Happy birthday, Our guest Nick. of honor is here. Happy yeah. birthday, Nick. And Randy and Pearl. Nice. And Laura and Andrew and... Mintu. Hello. Mm. Okay, so I'm sorry, he's not writing his third cookbook. His third cookbook is in the mail coming to me on Monday. Whoa. So this one is a really good one. The Christmas one has a lot of cool stuff in here, including tiramisu. His stuff is always so pretty. It is. So here's his recipe for tiramisu. Sorry, it's backwards, but that's <laughs> what his looks like. He did his in individuals. Mm hmm so I thought, okay, let me do his recipe. I'll just do his recipe. And then I was like, mm, I don't really like his recipe that much. <laughs> but I do, not not because it's not good. Mm -hmm. It's not my style. Okay. So I used the cake portion, portion of his recipe and I baked it this morning so that we wouldn't have to wait for it to cool and everything. And that we were... Um, ready to go with everything and it smells so good it does and it tasted really good um you tried a little bit i didn't try it you tried it. once it's cooked i checked i tried it from the bowl so this is gonna be super unhealthy that's a sponge it? cake not really though because it's got no eggs in it and no um chickpea aquafaba or anything like that it's just a nice light cake mm -hmm. um excuse me <laughs> excuse me bowie you're ruining the video all right. So then I said, you know what? Let me see what everybody else has got. And a lot of people had things pretty similar to him. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go balls to the wall here. I watched a million regular tiramisu videos. Mm -hmm. Like traditional, like the guy was talking in Italian. I had to watch subtitles and everything. And the audio um, went on in my headphones. Cause and you're like, what is this? Is yeah, this and it Chinese? was really low. And I was like, what is, like, did I get a virus on my computer or something? Like, what yeah. is this? Oh, and great. Carol's here. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So I said, I'm just going to go balls to the wall. I'm going to make this so freaking simple. Plus, 
I had a Jello pudding in the Ooh. in the cabinet that needed to be eaten up. This is definitely vegan, right? Yes. Let's just make sure. Accidentally vegan. There's yeah, because it's like all chemicals, pretty much. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So rather than uh, do like one that's with um, vegan cream cheese, which I don't really like that much. Because his used vegan cream cheese, and that's basically just like tapioca flour and mm. coconut oil. So I said, you know what, let's chemical it up. All right. And we have another problem. The real tiramisu uses like rum or mas marsala, and we don't drink, really. We don't have a lot of booze on hand. We don't have any of that stuff, because I think Mark drank all the Kahlua that he had, whatever. He has these little bottles from Christmas. Yeah, I think all we have alcohol-wise is, like, this much of vodka and maybe, like, some random bottles of wine that we haven't had yet. Yeah, so we're going to do, like, a um, almond flavor. So for all you teetotalers out there, we ha we're we going to do, like, a virgin uh, tiramisu without any booze in it. So Sounds good. There you go. So let's see if any anybody's got anything to say before we get started because <laughs> I couldn't talk and read the chat at the same time. So mm -hmm. no, Carol, it's not keto, and neither are you. All right, <laughs> let's calm down. Charlie just made some iced coffee for the live cooking show. Yay! Oh, mm. thanks, Nick and Randy. You guys are so so sweet. Oh, this is not. Affiliated with Cosby in any way. I'm sure Jello is just like, Bleh. yeah, distance ourselves from that mess. Yeah. Hey, bud. Hey. Can't Can we use coffee flavors? There will Hi, be everybody. Yes. Sean, Sean wants this, okay? He wants it to come in the mail. So I'm going to make that for you. Because they don't make that in, in your size, Shawnee. Maddie's going to custom make it for you. Lucky Ooh. you. If I don't get the exact number of stitches and everything, he's just going to be like, wrong. You know how much that will hurt me? You mean how it hurts me every day? Yeah, but for me to like actually make it, right. he's like, wrong. Are you saying me searching things down on the internet is any less important? No, it's like, very important. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so um, <laughs> there will be coffee in it. I, I, there will be coffee. I was actually toying with the idea of making like a Dalgano, uh, you know, cream layer, but then I, I decided not to do it. Sean does not have a Zoom uh, class today. It's not until Monday, so mm -hmm. we don't have to, you know, freak out about it or anything. All right, so Michael's still closed. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I got to find a pattern Thank first. Thank you, Morris. Uh, I, I caution you against sending, sending the googly eyes because I think those are actually hand-stitched. And if you get the wrong ones, Sean will be, like, sorry, yeah, that's Yeah, these wrong. are actually, He's like, um, these are, like, pom-poms, it looks like. Or no, that is, like, really tight stitching. Is it? Or is it a pom-pom? It looks I think, like it might be tight stitching. I think it's a pom-pom with a tiny, uh, circle of felt on it. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, but thank you for that. Yeah, big chunks of tofu. <laughs> Haley must be here. That's right. That's right. Those were meaty. Those were meaty tucks. Could you use this in the recipe? <laughs> this is hand sanitizing, <laughs> guys. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, I guess we'll begin. All right, let's begin. All right. Stop it, Carol. <laughs> Bowie. Just drop the charade. It makes me very sad to see you, to imagine you sitting there uh, in front of your computer pretending to be somebody you're not. So just please stop. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're going to do it in... Hold on. Let me do it <laughs> I guess we're going to do it like a deep dish in this uh, beautiful Pyrex. Oh, yes, it is. It says Pyrex right there. How oh, nice. Made in the good old USA. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the cake layer. I was actually in the supermarket yesterday looking at ladies' fingers, and they they didn't have any that were vegan. No. Oh. So I made this beautiful um, cake. It's like a very light sponge-type cake. Mm -hmm. And 
The recipe is actually in British. Oh. <laughs> you mean like all the measurements and everything? Yeah. And like the like they had like self raising flour. We very rarely use that in the United States. We like to raise it ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> we raise it up. All right. Very Josh Groban. So this has um, non dairy milk with a little bit of uh, vinegar in it to curdle it to turn it into like a buttermilk. Mm -hmm. It's got some vanilla. It's got some butter, which is they call that vegan it? spread. <laughs> Who calls it that? Um, I guess maybe they didn't want to, like, you know when the milk industry was all like, you can't call this milk. Oh. Um, maybe it's the same thing with butter over there. I don't know. Um, but did you see that Joaquin Phoenix is, uh, who is he pairing up with? Uh, oh, Robert De Niro, maybe? Yeah. We can't go back to the way things were. You go, guys. You go. Do it. It's true. <laughs> All right, and uh, some castor sugar, which I believe is uh, powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. That's what they call powdered sugar. And a little bit of sea salt. And since I don't have the self-raising flour, I just use regular flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. Not soda. Because that would make it taste a little bitter, I think. All right, so Gaz, you go over here because we're done with you. <laughs> so I bake this on... Um, they call this a brownie pan mm -hmm. on some parchment. So let's slip that out. Let's slip it out like they slipped my foot out of the sock when I broke my foot. And I oh, my don't bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> I am scarred from that experience. That, how do you think I feel? That was creepy Sick. as hell. All right, so we're going to cut this in half. Can everybody see? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's like an inch or so tall. All right. Now, the thing about this is you want to cut this into slices and turn it sideways so that it can soak up the yeah. coffee. Let me just um, switch this view. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's here better. All right, so let's... Uh, Cut some slices here. Can you guys like stop talking about porn in the <laughs> comments? That'd be great. Thanks. Okay. Also, the two carols fighting with each other. There's two carols. Basically. Oh, God. Oh, no. Pixie was riding her motorcycle and got stuck in a storm. Oh. I'm glad you're safe. Yeah. We are making tiramisu. Welcome to the show. We should taste this first because, you know, we don't want to put something in there we haven't tasted. All right, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your nails look nice. I need to cut them. They're too long. Mmm. Johnny, you want to taste? There's my nail size. It's light. Mmm. <laughs> it's really good. It's light. Okay. Delicious. Oh my god, this Thank is going to be so good. Alright, so let's um, start lining. Oh no, we're supposed to put the cream in first. So, let's have another piece. That is too No, I'm not <laughs> having another piece right now. It's too good. That is delicious. Mm. Thank you, Yes. <laughs> That's like, dangerous. If only I had another daughter. To entice Gaz to come to America. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're taken. Mm. That's right. <laughs> did, did 10 people just leave the chat? Oh my god. Because you're taken now? Well, that's it. I'm out. <laughs> I'm just following you. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we don't need you. <laughs> Oh no, I can't get this drawer, this drawer open. There we Do go. any of you guys have any fun plans for this weekend in your homes? <laughs> oh, look at this. I got a bass drum. Nice. Right? Who doesn't need that? No, I am not engaged. Oh my god, what a disaster. Oh, cool. I found my crinkle cutter. Oh, my cutter. God. This is a mess. <laughs> I found my crinkle cutter. We should I probably work on that, like, Yeah. Soon. Oh, pointed sticks. 
Nice. You gonna go vampire hunting? Uh huh. Aren't you? Yeah. Um, I'm I'm cool with the vampires. Daddy said the he mosquitoes. had a dream the other night that the vampires were after him. <gasps> oh no! Like the ones from what we do in the shadows, know if or it like was the nice dumb vampires. But oh. it was probably the mean evil. Because I like those. Those brought to vampires. I should probably watch this. Wow, Ella said met Gaz last year trying his vegan burger in London. Turned into a total fangirl. Wow. He seems so cool. He, he does seem really cool. I probably embarrassed myself. <laughs> Wait, why would you embarrass yourself? Like I did with the vegan zombie where I was just like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I think it was okay. It was, you didn't, you weren't there. Ooh, they changed the uh, the thing, the functions on here. Oh, they did. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, so guys, what we're gonna do to make the cream part of this is we're gonna take a can of coconut cream, but not just any coconut cream, some organic heavy coconut cream. So this is basically like the solid part of like a can of coconut milk. Uh huh. So usually when you make that, you have to use two cans and you, you leave the liquid behind. This is all the good stuff. You don't have to, you can use all of it. And we have a jello pudding, vanilla. Mm -hmm. So we're good. First things first. We're, what, what should we do first? We should probably whip our cream first, right? Yeah. Sorry, I was just taking care of some business in the chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, let's get all of this out of the can and into the mixer. Scott Walker asked, does it taste like coconut? No, not really. We use this all the time in our um, vegan cheesecake recipe, and yeah. it is so good. My husband has a very good palate, and he can recognize coconut or coconut oil. Because he hates it. He hates it. And he, um, does, it smells faintly of coconut, but once you put all the other stuff in there, you're not going to smell it. Or taste it. Hey, Mosca. Oh, let's take a little walk over here. Wait, there's a little piece of something that fell in there. Oh, <laughs> yum. Right? Get in that bowl. Whoops. Oh, my God. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, my God. We're not using Jello. We are using um, pudding. pudding. And it is accidentally vegan. We checked. Yes. Not to worry. Well, that is a big mess. It must be the rumor weed. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys, I can't wait to have lunch. I'm so hungry. I know. I just ate a whole tray of watermelon and I feel like I'm gonna puke them. Oh. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Um, Scott said, I've been looking for a good, heavy cream alternative. Can't really get the plant milks to be thick. No, it's true. Yeah, coconut cream is definitely good for this kind of thing. <laughs> Sorry, I had to throw that away. Okay. All right. Um, while that's sitting there for a second, let's get another little bowl and pre-mix this so that uh, when we put it in, it's not, like, stupid. Okay. <laughs> stupid. Hey, you stupid. Why don't you um, get out the oat milk? Okay. Which one do you want? Uh, you can get the, um, is it Chobani? No, it's Planet Oak. Planet Oak. I feel like such a cheater using this, but. Why? I feel like a uh, semi-homemade lady. <laughs> hey, it's, it's semi-homemade. Governor Cuomo would hate it. Oh. <laughs> um... Oh, Charlie's buying watermelon this weekend. Mm. Seriously, the watermelon we have right now? It's delicious. Perfect. <gasps> I'm back. <laughs> Eat that other piece of cake. No! Stop it. Did you already pre-shake this? Yeah, a little bit. I'm not even going to measure this. I'm just going to put some in. <laughs> Does that bother you? A little bit. It's pretty thick. Oh, that is thick. Mm -hmm. It's a thickums. That's so yellow. Because this is supposed to be like a custard. And we're going to lighten it up with the coconut uh, cream. Mm -hmm. 
I think that might actually be pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more. We do get the oatly and we love it. Yeah, oatly's good. I I do like the full fat oatly though. Mm -hmm. Hanley said Janet feels like Cuomo's ex thirst trap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I wish. I went to school with the Cuomo, the Cuomo girl. The Cuomo? The Cuomo. Not all of them. Madeline. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not why I named you Madeline. No, I know. Hey, Sheena. Welcome to the show. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That is really nice. Mm -hmm. Taste that. Mmm. Good? It's good. I mean, how could it be bad, right? Mmm. All right, let's whip the S out of this. See, it's a big lump. <laughs> I should probably turn this on. Nice. All right. All right, so we don't, don't want to over whip that because it's just going to make it very liquidy. This kind of works in the opposite way that... Um, heavy cream works like when you um when you whip up heavy cream you're adding air to it this one is kind of solid and you're kind of breaking it down to make it creamy so it's a little bit different mm -hmm. oh what fine young man would like to step up and lick this whisk sean <laughs> come here sean you want some of this pudding he's gonna take his time <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's add a little bit of this at a time. We don't want to overwhelm it. We're also going to add a little shot of almond flavor. Mm -hmm. Sorry if this is boring. It's okay. This is real life, guys. This is what happens. This is, this is what usually gets edited out. Yeah. Nick said he is watching and taking notes. Excellent. I hope I don't F it up. <laughs> I hope you're writing in pencil. Yeah. Looks pretty nice so far. <laughs> Can you just scrape down the sides? My arms are tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looking good. One more. Alright. I should probably taste this, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and I forgot to add the almond, but I'll add it to the coffee. Okay. Mmm, that's nice. You should get a spoon and taste that. Okay. Well, I only have two arms, so. <laughs> oh, let me feed baby Maddie. I meant like I want to put this down because my arms hurt. <laughs> That's too much. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it like you're on Falcon Beach. Mmm. That's very greasy. Is it? It's so light, mother. <laughs> yes, the water. All right. Yum. <laughs> so now we need to next stop make the espresso okay what's your plan for that um let me get a little um <laughs> little jar what's for dinner tonight i don't know um tonight is mexican night <gasps> oh my god it's mexican night it's mexican night that's exciting all right so i have a little mason jar here and I made some coffee already this morning, mm. but it's not strong enough. It has to be espresso. Mm -hmm. 
So I have some um, instinct coffee here. <laughs> what is so going on over weird there? Noises, I don't know. So I'm just going to pour my already brewed coffee in here and mm -hmm. add some coffee powder to make it like a double double shot. Okay. Um, for one cup, how much of this are you supposed to put in here? Because I never make um, instant coffee. Will you be using the rest of this instant coffee instant. to make the uh, things yes. that everybody's making? Yes. Oh, you really are? I am, yeah. Oh, my God. One rounded teaspoonful. Okay. There's so much sugar in that, though. In, I know. That, like, iced coffee thing that everybody, or, like, like whatever it. it's called. Yeah. That everybody's obsessed with. Everybody really is obsessed with it. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Let me smell this. I'm not, like, super into coffee, but I do like smelling it. Oh, nice. Ooh. <laughs> but how come it doesn't taste like that? <laughs> I don't know. I think it tastes pretty damn good. Alright, so I'm gonna put like that much. Okay. She just put in a tablespoon worth. Because that said per six ounces. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's probably a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, here's some coffee. Coffee talk. Now we're gonna need um, like six ounces or something. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's it. This is what it looks like, guys. <laughs> there you go. We're going to put in some of this almond flavor. We haven't used yet. Oh, it's fresh. Now, you can, there's no actual almonds in here, right? Because you're kind of like sensitive yeah, to almonds. I think it's all chemicals. Because it was like from the cheap aisle. Okay. Artificial almond. Just making sure, because I don't want you to be like, Ugh, later. It's got propylene glycol, though. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I love the smell of the almond extract. Yeah. It just <laughs> makes me think of those cookies, or like the almond Mars board. Pan. <gasps> so good. Mozzy pan. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take this off. Oh my god, it's happening! Yuck. Where's Marley? In the ocean. Sean has this thing where he loves asking where um, characters are or where they live, and you have to answer it, it unless you want him to just keep asking. <laughs> oh, Alright, so I just got a little speck of something in there. I think it's coffee. I saved it. Don't worry. Okay. It's okay, Donna. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> All right. So that's the, um, oh, yeah, white out. Nice. That's that. All right. So I guess we'll start with a layer of the cream mm -hmm. in the bottom because that's how they do. It's like lasagna <laughs> rules. <laughs> you know? Yeah. When you put the sauce on the bottom right. so that it doesn't Just start it off. Jeez, I hope this all fits in here. What do you mean? That is a lot of cream. It's not. Okay, then it should be fine then. Put the cake. You'll make right. it work. Alright, so we have that. <laughs> now we can have another little piece of this. What do you mean, girls? What do you mean? I mean, that's I guess delicious. I should hold this now. Now we're going to lay in our sponge cake. Beautiful. What's that white? It was a little pocket of unmixed flour. Okay, I was going to say. Should I take that out? I'm sure it's fine. No, let's extract it. That is bad and Oh, awful. oh, you're making it worse. We'll put this one in. <laughs> this is very forgiving because when you cut into it, you don't see like that. Mm -hmm. Another one, oh, damn no. it. I'm a failure. This must be really embarrassing for you. A little bit, <laughs> yeah. Like it's not a big deal. To you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 
Maybe those were the only ones. Yeah, probably. And then those, of course, are the two that everybody sees. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be more. Yeah, exactly, Laura G. This is exactly like dessert lasagna. Yeah. Delicious. Shove it. Make it fit. Okay. <laughs> I gotta wash my hands because I can't stand them. Ah, feel like Lady Mac Macbeth over here. I think everybody does at this point. Out, damn spot. <laughs> the constant hand washing. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, no, wrong. Bad. Wrong. <laughs> Next is coffee. Oh, snap. This is wild. Right? It's like you're doing a watercolor painting. Yeah. Do you love it? Mm-hmm. Originally, I was going to put the um, coffee flavor in the whipped cream, and then I was like, mm, that's going to look weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be weird if it was like a brown color. Yeah. A little bit more. This is going to be super indulgent. Yes. Oh, just you wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's really heavy and hard on the wrists. Yeah, that bowl is super oh. heavy. <laughs> okay. Yummy. Okay. Next layer. Player. <laughs> Sheena said that looks beautiful. Charlie said it looks perfect. Thank Thanks, Thank guys. You. HB just got my first order of soy curls. Any recommendations for my first attempt at using them? Um, <laughs> sweet and sour soy curls. Yes, delicious. Oh, I mean, the God, possibilities are endless with the soy curls. Another one that I think back to one of the first dishes that I made was uh, like a Hunan beef, like type soy, like a beef and broccoli soy curl it was really good. They have a lot of recipes on the Butler website itself, so you should check that out. Oh yeah, this cake is so good, even with the flower spots in it. Mm-hmm. Hanley, I wish I was going to the beach. <laughs> yeah. We're not very close to the beach, and no. also, I feel like it's not a great time to go, but, you know. Would Granny like this dessert? She would love it. She would eat it up. She loves tiramisu. I'll put this little skinny one on the end. Squeeze it in there, daughter. <laughs> Yummy. I wish I could send this to you, Nick. Pixie said she'll be right up in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Could you do this dessert with a different cake? Yeah, of course. Why not? I wonder how it would be with, like... Vanilla wafers, if you want to. You could, then, imagine a chocolate cake. Yeah. Mm. You could dip the vanilla wafers in the coffee. Yeah. And soak it up a little bit, and that would be like another hack where you didn't have to do too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So now coffee. She said, how about a blueberry cake? Yeah, you could do Why blueberries. Why not? You do whatever you want to do. <laughs> yep. I wonder um, how much better this is going to be tomorrow. Probably pretty good with everything like gelling together. Yeah. Gelling like a felon? Mm-hmm. 
Nick said, I wouldn't mind. I would still eat it no matter how long it took to get here. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. I'm not going to use all the coffee because I don't want it to be like soaked to death. Yeah. All right. Let's put our final layer on. So yeah, Laura said that's sometimes not better tomorrow for sure. Yeah. Ooh, Mosca said, as a dessert, I use chocolate cake, French vanilla pudding in the center. Then I top it with macerated strawberries. What's a macerated oh. strawberry? Um, and like cream. Uh, blended. Oh, yum. Or like um, crushed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Get over here, you. <laughs> Yum. All right, we'll save that for Maddie for later. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to dip some of these later. Come over here. You're for later. <laughs> so we can like Paula Dean it and not even like disturb the cake. Uh-huh. <laughs> you mean like how she used to cut out a little piece from the middle and then yep. cover it? Exactly. Okay, so this is not dirty, so I'm gonna put this away in here, my special, my special spot. How are the dogs today? They're doing great. Now we're going to take some um, cocoa, cocoa powder or cacao powder. Mm -hmm. Linda asked, where will the recipe be? <laughs> um, I could try and write something out, but no guarantees. Yeah, we're kind of just winging this right now. Yeah. Oh, strawberries heated with sugar. Interesting. So. Whoa. Yeah, right? Watch out. It goes everywhere. Whoa. So what did you say this is? Uh, cacao powder. Okay. Kristen's doing great. Yeah. Okay. Now we got to clean up this dog's dinner. Yeah, it's a little messy. Dad and Sean doing great. Whoop, does it that's not a hair, it's just a string from the towel. Okay. <laughs> this <won't> focus. Focus. <laughs> I command you to focus. Yeah, yes. it's just does like not want to focus, which is fun. Oh, so, there we go. Oh, magic? Yeah. Now the uh, crowning glory on this bad boy. I'm gonna make a mess over there. We gotta get some um, dark chocolate. Oh, there's chocolate too. Yeah. Oh my god. Right? Come on. Oh, you're gonna grate it. I'm gonna microplane it. <laughs> Figure out how to open my own. There, you go. there you go. This is exciting. Mm hmm. It's a real Max Bialystock. <laughs> In what way? It's opening night. Okay. Oh my god. You know, that was stupid. I should have done it with this hand. Yeah. Ooh. Make sure you get the tiny fly in there. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be so delicious. Whoa. <laughs> it's really messy. It is. But it's going to be good. It almost looks like mouse poop on there. Oh. <laughs> Why did you have to say that? I don't know. I'm just stream of consciousness in here. Uh huh. I guess that's it. We should um, let it refrigerate, but we're just gonna eat it. Okay. Let's see. Why don't you answer some questions while I clean up the table? Because it's, it's bothering me. All right, I'm gonna sit down. Yeah, you sit down. I did a big workout today, guys. Yeah, she did. She came in here looking like she was gonna cry. <laughs> She was like, <gasps> yeah, it was a big bike ride on that stationary bike. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Everybody's saying it looks amazing. Oh, thank you. This is really weird. <laughs> Let me put it aside so I can clean the table. Why don't you okay. just um, pick that up for a second? Um, thanks, Sheena. This is actually a hand-me-down from Kristen. A live cooking show for your birthday in November. We'll see, Charlie. You never know. Um, are we in favor of reopening slowly or against it? I'm in favor of reopening when the time is right, yeah. but I think it's too early in a lot of places. In New York, anyway. There's a lot of places that should not be open right now, and for some reason, they are. And that reason is, um, capitalism, mm. and, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons. I mean, to be fair, um, there are people that just, like, really need the money and want to get back to work. And I totally understand and respect that, but also, like, it's so dangerous, and I don't know. Do you agree? What do you guys think? Um, yeah, Mom's got a lot of great kitchen gadgets. I have too many. I have boxes down in the basement, too, of kitchen gadgets that I don't even, I use them probably, like, once a year. I know them. Scott Walker is going to try and make this soon. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it's good, because we haven't yeah. tried it yet. This well, is our first time making this. We'll find out in a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, let me just put this uh, in the cabinet, and then we can serve it. <laughs> Are we going to eat it right out of the tray? I'm going to put it on a plate. Where you, oh. We're not going to eat it like barbarians. Well, I just, because we're only having a bite right now. We're about to eat lunch in, in well, a little I'll bit. Well, I'll cut a little piece, and we'll split it three ways. All right. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I didn't hear before. Does anybody have any exciting, fun plans at home this weekend? I'm hoping to get a lot of time in the yard, especially today. It's so nice out today. What are you in jail? <laughs> what do you mean? Time in the, oh, yard. in the yard. Yeah, I mean, basically. Walk the yard. Yeah. HB says, I'm in North Carolina, and I think they're opening the state up much too fast. I haven't heard yet what um, what's going on in North Carolina. What, like, is everything opening back up or what? Like, is it in phases? Is it certain regions? Oh, we're going to do a black dish so we can see the contrast. Nice. I guess we should probably show this. Huh. You know what? I'll hold this for this part. Guys, you know the first slice is always a stinger. <laughs> oh, it's so delicate. It really needs to be refrigerated. Yeah. So should we do like this little corner? Okay. Uh, let's hope it comes out. Whoa! Right? <laughs> no dumpies. Yeah, it really needs to be refrigerated, but... That was the crappiest oh, no. serving ever. It's like a blob, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. That was so dumb. You guys can kind of see the layers in there. The struggle is real. All right, I'm gonna lick this. Don't look. Oh, good. Um, Charlie might go for a bike ride. Nice. Um, Morris will be staring at the walls and watching Birds of, Pre Birds of Prey on Blu-ray. Nice. All right, I'm gonna let Maddie taste that. Okay. What's that? You're gonna have some. Go with Maddie. You're gonna taste it. Whoa. <laughs> Did you like zoom in or something? No, that camera's no. always really close. Make Believe sure you me, I've tried to zoom too. out. Okay. <laughs> that would firm up in the fridge. Oh yeah. Because of the coconut milk. Oh my god. That is delicious. Why, thank you. Ooh. Johnny, you try it. Come here, bud. Come around. Turn around. That is really, really good. <laughs> no wonder why Nick and Granny love it so much. Yeah, I'm not a here, coffee drinker, around. but I love that coffee flavor in a dessert like that. How is it? Good. <laughs> that is, you need to try it. Okay. That is really, really good. Here you go. Nick, thank you for suggesting yes, this. Yes, Nick, thank you. Uh, Mmm, delicious. Mmm. 
Peekaboo. Would you like some more? What do you think? Delicious. It's so good like that, and I bet, like you said, if you refrigerated yeah. it, it would firm up so nicely. You get the subtle almonds in there. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of coffee. <laughs> For the amount of coffee that we put in there, you would think it would taste more like coffee, but it doesn't. Oh, it's so good. It's the perfect blend. And then the hey, unsweetened cocoa powder on the top is a nice, um, it's a nice, not too sweet touch. Yeah, it all works together really well. Oh, Pixie's husband's on vacation next week. Nice. So is mine. Very but nice. It, but it's called unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> Laura said, please include a refrigerated piece tomorrow for the weekend update. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to put it in the fridge, and we should have Dad taste it later. Mm -hmm. And that will be in the weekend update. What happened there? Did it fall over? It, like, caved in. Yeah, it kind of, like, sunk into oh itself. Oh, my God. And it doesn't taste like coconut. No, it tastes amazing. Very, very good. Mm. Ooh, I would highly recommend that. Because, like, we went into this not knowing if it was going to be good or not. And you have no idea how nervous she was. I was she was like, I'm going to make a fool of myself. And I was like, no. And I was right. <laughs> I didn't even know exactly what I was going to do until about 15 minutes before we started. Well, it worked. Because this well, is thank you. fantastic. Thank you. Mmm. Really you know it's got to be good because she didn't even want to lick the uh, pudding spoon before and she can't stop eating it. You I know? take it away. We're about to eat lunch. <laughs> really good. I will say, this is not a healthy dish by any means, but it is GD delicious. If you've got to have a dessert, I mean, I wouldn't eat this on a weeknight. No. I'd eat this for like a Sunday dinner or like, for like Easter or, yeah. Or if it's somebody's birthday, like Nick. Mm -hmm. uh, but... Generally, no. <laughs> We're having fruit for dessert, or popcorn, or a couple of Nutter Butters. Yeah. I'm drooling Ooh. now because that's so good. <laughs> All right, so let's talk amongst ourselves now. I'm going to wrap let's this come up around and, put it in the and sit down again. Okay. That's so good. I'm so glad it went well because you were so nervous. I know. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> We're back. Let's see. Let's get caught up here. Oh, Nicole's going to be trying that this weekend. Hope yeah. You enjoy it. Sean would be the best food critic ever. You just say, good. Yeah, but like when I offered him watermelon before, he was like, no, thank you. Okay. So he doesn't say good to everything. Mm -hmm. Serve it with a dab of coffee ice cream. Mm. That might oh, be too much coffee. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a lot. I like this because it's not like overwhelmingly coffee. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Odell Sheik. Um, yeah, Scott, I'm glad you were here. It was fun. Uh, Haley says NBC will be airing Celebrity Escape Room for Red Nose Day. Oh, really? Sounds good. I just saw that instead of the Tonys this year, um, they're going to be showing, like, Grease. No, I don't want that. I mean, I'll watch it. No, I'm like, not watching it. It just sucks that we don't get Broadway. Grease is filthy as hell. It really is. <laughs> Can you imagine those lyrics popping up on the screen? Uh, when you were in grammar school, in the talent show, that oh, I thought that was a night cardboard. There was a group of boys who did the Grease Lightning, Grease Lightning song. Oof. That's rough. <laughs> and I was like. Um, you're in like fourth grade and you're doing that song? No, because it's so like nobody realizes until they really look at the lyrics how filthy it mm -hmm. is. But I still love it. I love Grease. Uh, Linda says, please post the recipe or make another video. We might have to make another like official recipe video for this because it's really good. Yeah. We gotta make this for Granny. This was kind of like a test drive. Yeah, she will love that. Mm hmm She'll say, oh, Dora, it's not so sweet. It's light. It's so light. Granny says everything is light. Even like lasagna. If she likes it, it's light. And yeah. it's good. And it's nice. Even if it's bad. <laughs> hey, Ingrid. Oh, she said that looks amazing. Have a wonderful Thank day. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I cut out the flower uh, pockets. I don't think it would have made that much of a difference. Probably not. But we'll just throw those out. Well, I was just going to say we were going to eat them. The flower ones? No. Who those... cares? It's just like a little tiny piece. It's not going to taste good. It's going to taste like... Crumbly flour. Um, Can somebody take the garbage out in the chat? 
What's for lunch today? I am gonna have leftover pizza and veggies. What are you having? Um, I don't know. What else do or we salad. have left over? I'm sure we still have other. We leftovers still have too. some sweet and sour left over, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Shawnee, you'll probably some have some salad. Ooh. Yeah, I'll have a little piece of pizza, mm -hmm. maybe a chicken yeah, patty or something. Yeah. 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 And by watch... chicken, I mean not chicken. Right. Did we watch Real Housewives of New York City last night? Yes, we, yeah, we did. did. <laughs> Ew, I can't believe Sonia peed in the corn maze. That, guys, that uh, farm is up by us. It's not far. Yeah. It's always exciting when they go to, like, places around That's probably, here. like, 20 minutes away from us. Crazy. I know. Do we watch soap operas? No. The only so soap operas that, well, maybe you did, but, like, years uh, ago. Me growing up? I guess. Whenever. When I was pregnant with Kristen, I watched it because I was a big whale and I had to like <gasps> lay there and do nothing. Mm -hmm. So I would watch Channel 7, ABC, from the minute I got up in the morning, Regis and Kathy Lee, all the way through, like, what was the to last one? Jeopardy opera? and Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah. There was one summer when Kristen and I watched As the World Turns and we Franco. watched... Well, he was on General Hospital, mm -hmm. but we were just like, wow, this, as the world turns, is some crazy S. So we're going to check it out. Um, <laughs> yeah. You had to kill yourself. It was crazy. Another person. Uh, mm -hmm. don't do um, but other than that, we've never really been into soaps. I should not tuck my hair behind my oh, ear because no. it looks better on my shot, doesn't it? It looks great. I think I might be uh, cutting my hair this weekend. Oh? <laughs> if you guys want to see that, check out the weekend room. This is probably all going to go. Really? Yeah. Damn. We'll see. I don't know. You're doing like more of a side shave? Yeah. Damn. Damn. This needs to be... You're talking to somebody who had a mohawk. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> this all needs to be... Um, I, I Reshaved. Can, yeah. I really need a... Um, a touch up to his order. Mm, okay. Well, we can do that. And I don't know about this weekend, though. Yeah. Well, let's, let's not go anywhere. Let's so. throw in. Oh, Sheena likes Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, and The Young and the Restless. Wow. I remember when uh, General Hospital started. Mm hmm. Crazy. Eddie Bear. Thanks for joining us, Ella. Thank you. There used to be a soap opera that was only a half an hour long in the middle of the day, like a lunchtime soap opera. I thought opera. a lot of them were only half an hour. No, not oh. like an hour. It was called like... Ryan's Hope. Oh, we got a lot of General Hospital fans here. Yeah, well, that's been on for such a long time. Did you Morris, guys watch it when Odell Luke and Sheik. Laura were on? I remember when Luke and Laura were on. Laura's just said Luke and Laura. Yeah. <laughs> and they had uh, the royal wedding, and they... Um, they had that little uh, storyline where they were going to get married, and it was, like, right at the same time as the royal wedding. It was so oh, really? romantic. You mean, like, Charles and Diana. Diana? Yeah. Crazy. I know. General Hospital had some... a oh, One Life to Live had some really freaky storylines. Mm. <sighs> Aliens, ghosts, clowns, uh... <laughs> Twins. Yeah. There's always twins. There's always long lost twins. And twins. <laughs> There's always separated at birth stories or oh, uh you uh switched at birth or Of course. Um, let's see, let's see. Nick asked, Who is your favorite golden girl? I can't pick one. Uh, like Betty White. I love all of them. You like the Chihuahua head one. Uh the Blanche? The slutty one. Oh, Blanche. Yeah. Don't slut shame her. I'm sorry. And you're right. Um, yeah, no, I do like Blanche. I love Rose. I love Sophia. I love, um, I can't remember her name. I just hid that in the fridge so that we won't. Okay. <laughs> um, what's the main one's name? Blanche. No, B. Oh. Arthur's character. Dorothy. Dorothy, I love yeah. her too, in her own way, you know? They're all fun. Yeah. <laughs> You would have loved uh, that crazy show that B. Arthur got her start on. Um, God, what was the name of it? It was like a spinoff on um, All in the Family. Oh, wasn't it like Maud? Yeah, they I thought Maud. you were talking about Maud, but I didn't know yeah. that was. Yeah. 
Yeah, she got her own show. Good for her. And <laughs> her poor husband. On the show? Yeah. Why? Because she just treated him like crap. Mm. She was very combative. <laughs> the 70s were a really, really risque time. I in, love this um, company. In television because everybody, it was like a toddler. Everybody was just testing their limits and what they could get away with on TV. That's right. That was a dirty show. I was not allowed to watch that. I so love I that to, dirty show. I had to watch it on the sly. I love John Ritter. Rest in peace. Yeah. I mean, even Saturday Night Live for its time was really pushing it. When you look back at some of those sketches now, it's just like... How'd they get away with that? That's not what I was thinking. I was thinking like, go, go right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, some of them are amazing for all time, but then some yeah. of them are like, eh. Well, you could say that about any of the, the sketches, I guess. I mean, Landshark was, faint, was funny for like the first one or two times, but then that was like a recurring theme of Chevy Chase's. Mm. He would be Land Shark, and he would come uh, to Lorraine Newman's apartment hey, and say, like, Candy Graham, are you sure you're not that Land Shark? I mean, yeah. Ready, go. Hey, I mean, what? The Greek diner was the best. Mm. Hey, cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheap, cheap. No Coke, Pepsi. Yeah. We did watch Below Deck, Sailing Yacht. Um, yeah. I saw Below Deck Med is starting like June 1st or something. Oh, so, that's so exciting. Soon. And they're using June June Hannah in the ad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hannah, I should have fired you a long time ago. Yeah. Nicole said, I feel like Nickelodeon used to have soap opera like shows for kids, more drama at least. Uh, the Strange Life of Alex Mack. Yeah, yeah. we watched Alex Mack. Sabrina, mm -hmm. love that. Wasn't Sabrina P on. Um, that other wasn't it on like ABC Family or something? Sabrina, the, wasn't it? Yeah, there? yeah, there was the Sabrina. Was the it, wasn't that TGIF? Witch. No, way hold that. Yeah. It goes. But didn't Sabrina start on Nickelodeon? Did it? Or did she have another show when they? She had Clarissa the... explains it all. Yeah, on Nickelodeon. there you go. Okay. No way, Jose. <laughs> no way, Jose. Hey, Julie, Sean did finish his Lego. It's right yeah. over here, actually. Ooh, looking good. Yeah. He, he had a ball. Had a great time doing that, so thank you so much. Thank you, Julie. He really enjoyed it. He, he powered through that last night. Mm -hmm. There was not much chattering going on, which was nice, because I could hear the TV. Yeah. <laughs> that bought us a chatter-free evening. Mm-hmm. I've been trying to clip for SNL where Adam Sandler reenacts past Me relationships swan. with dolls and yells out, stop smothering me. Oh, that sounds funny. Yeah, Mad TV, good times. We didn't really watch 7th Heaven. Um, we watched something, I don't remember what it was, but Kristen would watch something before 7th Heaven, and then 7th Heaven would come Hill? on. No. Oh, and then 7th Heaven would come on, and we were just like, no. Party I don't remember five? what it was, though. No, I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know. And then it goes. That guy turned <laughs> out to be very bad. Yeah, he was lit. That was on WB, wasn't it? Yeah. They had some good stuff, too. Yeah. Oh, look at Bowie in his colonial pants Bowie. laying down. Cookie dough cookie. Bowie cookie. looks like cookie he's cookie. wearing a Hamilton costume. Very cute. How many people, raise your hand, are excited for Hamilton on Disney Plus? <laughs> I can't wait. This is Hamilton, and you're watching Hamilton on Disney Plus. <laughs> That's true. Good one. This is Alexander Hamilton, and you're watching Hamilton on Disney Plus. You're welcome. <laughs> so funny. Have I ever rocked dark hair? Yup. You had pretty I, much every color, right? I had pretty much every color. I think the only color I didn't actually have was like purple. Oh. Yeah, I yeah, know, and I no. wanted to get purple so bad, and it never happened. Maybe in the future. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard. That's kind of lame. That's like Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Julie said, Nini is right over my shoulder on the cabinet. Aww. Yeah, she's famous. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Being that Nini. Aww. So cute. 
In her little outfit. Yep. Puppy used to wear his little Santa hat all the time. Mm-hmm. Didn't I have a purple tint last year? Oh, yeah, you're right. I had it all, Where baby. have you been? You've been using that purple, like, shampoo. Yeah, but that wasn't like I it dyed it. It wasn't full-on purple, but, like, It was only, yeah. like, temporary. Yeah. That's right. I still got that purple shampoo. Mm -hmm. I still have some pink, too. Maybe I should do an ombre. Pink into purple. Yeah. Did I do blue hair? Yup. I never liked Mr. Roper, either. I mean, I liked, I felt bad for Mrs. Roper because it was not a great dynamic. Deep. Yeah. Um, but they had, you know, it was fun. But I like Stanley better than the Don Knotts character. Than Mr. Burley? Yeah. Um, oh, cool. Nicole got to see Hamilton on Broadway. That's awesome. Yeah, really. Has Sean ever done any of the non-Lego type building sets? Like what? What's non-Lego? I don't know. Ooh, it's about that time for lunch. Oh, you mean like um, airplane models and stuff like that? I think that's a little bit beyond him. He really loves the Legos, though. <sighs> Thank you, bud. You gonna have lunch? Yes. Where? Where is Shundi's pa package? Oh, I uh, believe that Sean's package came today. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> All right, guys, we are gonna call it a show. Pew, pew. Yeah. So thanks so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you try the tiramisu. Yeah, it's really easy. Hope everybody has a uh, a good weekend and a safe yeah. weekend. Stay mm. home if you can. I guess I'm gonna try and write out the recipe probably either tonight or tomorrow because the it doesn't really let you do too much with the video until it renders like in the YouTube Got system it. when you do a live one. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to wait a little bit and then come check back like tomorrow or whatever. I'll have the recipe written out. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. And until then, much, much love. love.